She's got it. Hi, my name is Matthew de Graffenried. I love to hunt and fish and am fascinated with people using animals to hunt with, like falcons, hawks, eagles, cormorants, and ferrets. In January 2018, I discovered the sport of hunting with mink. After reading the book, The New Sport of Minkinry, by Joseph Carter, I learned he lived just 30 minutes away. I contacted Joseph and fell in love with these curious, smart hunters. My first mink is Jaeger, a kit born in April 2018. She is so smart and amazing. So come along and join me as I train Jaeger and take her on hunting excursions. Alright, so we're over here at a park. We've been here before. It's been a couple months. But uh, we're going to come over here and bring Jaeger over here and just scout around and see what we can find. We might not find anything. We might find a rat. So we'll give it a try. I'm put Jaeger in her hunting harness that has a long string, so I just need to change her harness. Take her, this is her regular walking harness and run harness. And this harness is her hunting harness. It has a longer lead on it. And uh, she can go in the water with this one and she can be farther away. So it's just a, a good harness for that kind of thing. Alright, should I have her arm in there? Girl, I just need to make sure it gets tightened up. So we've been over here before several times and only caught one rat, but we thought this would be a good place to try today, see if we have any luck. So we've got this little forested area in this park and there's some grassy areas. There's a little ditch that runs along the back there. We're going to go check along there. We're going to check over here and find some garbage cans and stuff where people may have left food for the rats and stuff. So we'll just see what we can find. by this stream. Ooh. Kind of a cool little stream. Notice how she's checking all the little little spots and crevices where prey might be hiding, or they might have a hole. Mm. Finding something in there, maybe just a cut in the bank. Straight down through here. I don't want to go down through there. I'm surprised there's not some bullfish that can hold up this around here.
We just saw a rat and it got spooked out. Okay, oh, there it is. Okay, let's take the ear up. Okay. She'll cash it, that would be really good. It's still partly alive. Okay, just give her some space. Let's see what she does. What she's trying to do is she's trying to trick you into not thinking it's there. So this is one of the struggles I've been having with her as far as her training is she wants to drop it and then go someplace else so you think it's she just doesn't have something. And uh, so we're going to give her, she, if she asks for something I'm not going to give her anything. I may tug on her to get her to think. Get it, girl, get it. Get it. So this is the tough part. I'm gonna walk over here, Jake. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Yay. So that's just what we wanted. So now she's asking for food. This is perfect. So this is a really good training experience for her. She was able to um, flush a rat out. It was down by the stream, and the rat, like so many rats that get around mustelids, they're scared, and they run. Often they just run crazy. I've seen it happen so many times. It's really crazy. And this one came up and it hit over here um, in a spot, and Jaeger was able to get in there and and get it out. So that was really good. I'm really happy with that. And she hesitated. Um, on my rubric of grading her, I wouldn't say that was an A for caching. I'd say it was a B, B minus, uh, definitely not a C. It took a little bit of encouragement, but not a lot. So I'm just going to feed her up because, you know, and it will take her hunting a little bit more, but. Um, I've been, it's been so hard, it's been so challenging with her that uh, even though there may be other rats around here, um, I think it's best to reward her. She did a good job. She cashed it after um, sitting there hesitating and trying to figure out where do I want to take this. This was actually a good open place, so there wasn't any other places for her to look around and say, where else can I take this? 
So that's really good. Um, because she's been really possessive, like right now, she wanted to go back in. Why don't you film that, Sam? Mm -hmm. You know, she came out, and what I don't want her to do is to come out with the rat and want to cash it someplace else. That's That would be like nearly a failure. If she'll come out and want to go hunting some more, that's good. But if she brings the rat with her out, that's an indication that we've got a lot of more work to do because she doesn't trust the box and she doesn't trust me. So let's take oh. her hunting some more. I'll take the box. I got the box. It does. She's kind of nervous. A little bit. She hasn't been up in trees much, but I want her to learn to be up in trees. It'd be really cool for her to get really used to it. It'd be harder to get under there. We need to come and bring some goldfish over here, Jade. <laughs> <laughs> I need to show you what ducks do when there's a mink around. It's one of the funniest things. Ducks seem like they like mink. But they'll all come over and watch the mink. Watch them. They just come right in. But watch what happens when she jumps in the water.